What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back, and we just finished up the main story yesterday, or as much of the main story as we have right now. I know there's more story-related elements uh, that will probably come later. They're at higher levels. I think they're 56, 58, or 54, 58, 450, 54, 56, 58, somewhere in those ranges of levels. There is uh, more story-based quests, I believe. We just don't have them yet. So, in this, I'm going to be going over the build for the Sorceress that I have currently. I'll update this every couple weeks to a month or whatever, depending on when and if I get new gear. Eventually, obviously, I'll probably get set with the gear that I have, and uh, that, that'll, that'll be it. <laughs> we won't have to update it anymore, but we're nowhere near that right now, so we can go over this. So, this is the character that I took through the game. Pets, I guess we can go over that real quick. These are my pets that I used. Um, Waffles is stuck because I can't can't have five pets on console. Um, let me feed them real quick because I will definitely forget. Um, for the gear, we'll start out with the gear here. This is the gear that I used for my character. I used the Lars Arcean uh, armor. This is the R set, I believe. There's also the other set um, that has a little bit of a shorter... It doesn't have this, like, fluffy thing in the back. It's just really the shorter skirt and a little bit of a different top. Um, so I used this ever since it came out. Initially, I used the um, Shadad or Shudad armor set. Where is the ones that I can put on? Is there... Okay. I have them all on. This is the initial one that I used. This is the one I, I believe you got it for pre-ordering the game. I'm not entirely sure, but I believe it was part of one of those pre-order bundle things that we bought, that we all bought. Switch those around so I have the ones I can wear. Put my Lars Arcean boots back on. And so then we can get into the full equipment. So I use the Bears Amulets of Destruction. Uh, they're 63, 67. Uh, they do extra damage to all species, plus 20. I might try to sell these here when I get off of this game, because um, I'll probably be off of it for a day or so, day or two. Um, and so what I'll probably end up picking up here is the Uria. Um, actually, is it all sold out now? There was Uria. There was a couple Uria PRI amulets here, which is 76... 81 but those look like they're all sold out so won't actually have to worry about selling that uh, the bears amulet though that's the amulets that i've been using it'll probably be the amulets i use for a while because not a lot of the things that i need go up on the auction house so i either have to make them on my own or just wait until people sell them Next is the Jubre Talisman of Temptation. It's 22 AP increase. And the reason I chose this over the defense, the ones that do kind of split attack and defense increases, I need the I need the attack. So if you take this off, it, it puts me down to 101. Now, if I go and buy one of those that gives like 11 attack and 18 defense, yeah, it gets my defensive points up to, what would that be, 190, or yeah, 187. It, but it would only bring my attack up to 112-ish. This gets me to 123. Still low, but I think it helps a lot. It's the Jubre Talisman of Temptation. Next, we have the Zareth gear. The Zareth helmet. Zareth gloves of agility. I have a little bit of the better gloves there for, for my agility. And then uh, Zareth shoes. Uh, these are just the basic green ones. And then the Zareth armor. I have four pieces of Zareth gear um, because I just had three pieces. So I just decided to get the armor because, I don't know, coordination, I guess. But we get all three of the three set effect pieces. I probably should get something that's not the Zareth, but the Zareth was what I wanted it. It had the 52, which is what I wanted. And um, its item effect is it is pretty good. HP recover plus 5 and weight limit plus 50. Uh, so the Zareth helmet gives plus 47 to defensive points. The gloves give 33. They give extra damage to all species and range damage reduction. And then the shoes give me plus 200 stamina, which is nice. Uh, and then the armor, we already went over that. But that gives 52. The shoes give 33 as well. The armor is kind of basic. Um, there's nothing too big about the armor. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. It'll be swapped out relatively quickly. The belt is the... Uh, 
one uh, belt Schultz the belt of the Schultz gladiator um, it's the upgraded one where you combine two of the Schultz gladiators together um, to get this it gives five extra attack I mean it's not that good it gives the extra weight limit which is nice because as you can see I'm right at the peak of my weight limit um, and then it gives the maximum stamina plus 50 so I have pretty good stamina on this character uh, moving on to my rings, I have the Mark of Shadow, which has, which is the two regular Mark of Shadows combined, and then I have a Sula's Crimson Eye Ring, which is a pretty good ring. It gives plus seven attack and two defense. Um, if you have three pieces of the Asula, it'll give you plus three hundred health, which is really nice. Uh, I'd, I'd love to probably try to get three three pieces of the Asula set, but who knows. Um, and then the Mark of Shadow, this one gives 7 boost to attack. These are all worth a fair amount on the auction, like 25 million for that, 10 million. We got these all worth roughly 10 plus, and then the shoes are worth 20 million for some reason. Uh, the weapon is worth 21 mil, this is worth 27 mil. They're pretty valuable items. Uh, the necklace, I use the Kaya necklace, this is just a reward, uh, but it gives 7 boosted attack and 2 defense. And then I have two Treant Spirit Whisper earrings. So I got these from the um, Catfish Men drops. I farm them for a little bit, and they give plus five to um, attack. I need one more Treant Spirit uh, item, and I would get plus five damage reduction. So that's something I'll be looking into, but, but nothing I've done just yet, but uh, is something I'm interested in at least is is picking up maybe one of those if there's like a ring or a belt or something like that that also boosts attack so moving on next we have to get into the skills i think that's pretty much the last thing that we have to get into so i have just four skills hot barred to my hot key here we have bloody calamity dark trade shard explosion and shield of darkness so i want to do that so i don't actually use any of them and then the abilities that i actually use um, is L, L, T, and X. I'll go over these. That's not what I use. Why, why did it do that attack? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. It's L, T, and B. Not L, T, and X. I do use L, T, and X, but this is not what I was trying to show you. L, T, and X is Dream of Shadow. I'll go over that in just a second. But this is the one, uh, that I use, the Shadow Eruption. It's L, T, and B. I'll try to show everything on here. It's L, T, and B. Uh, it does have a little bit of a cooldown, but it's one of my favorite attacks. LT and X is Dream of Doom. Um, I don't really use this when fighting anything major, but I do use it for some farming uh, purposes, but uh, not a whole lot of using that attack. The, the big attack I use is this one, the LT and B. Next, I use the Rushing Crow to close distance. It's the ability that I use close distance, which is forward and right trigger. And it's just a slash to close the distance. One of my favorite attacks. Um, it just it just has so many utilities because it closes the distance for you when you back off an enemy, whether with dodge or whatever you end up dodging with. It just really helps close the gap. Um, my basic attack is just the Claws of Darkness. Um, if you've watched a lot of my playthrough, you know it's just what I tried to hack and slash my way through the game without trying to learn combos, and then it didn't work anymore, so I had to actually learn combos. Um, the other combo that I like to do that's kind of basic and easy is the combo with B and X. You gotta kind of let it cool down, but sometimes I don't know why it does that sometimes. Sometimes the input on it, if you hit B too early, it'll do that. It won't, it won't continue the chain. You gotta kind of delay it, um, just a little bit. Something that I still gotta get used to. You gotta kind of wait till you land. So you see, when you land from this, you can kind of go into the next one. But you gotta, there's like a sweet spot where it'll let you kick again. It's kind of a hard thing for me, but it lets you do. It's a nice little combo that I like to do, as you can see. There we go. There's kind of a rhythm to it. If you can get to the rhythm, you can see now I did a decent chunk in a row it's kind of a rhythm thing that you get into there's like a sweet spot where you need to hit b again and so there's a little bit of a timing um a timing there for you there's a nice little sweet spot that you gotta hit um before every fight there's a couple things that i do so the first thing is shield of darkness i put that on so shield of darkness puts on believe it's 13 extra 
defense points. You can also do it by LTLB, but you don't use it that much. It has a four-minute effect. It lasts for four minutes, so I, I don't really... I, well, it lasts for five minutes, but the I believe the cooldown is four minutes on it. Um, but it increases your defense points by 13. So you want to put that on before every battle. The other thing that I do is the left bumper is Shards of Darkness. And I'll go in here and explain more of that to you. So where is my left bumper? Shards of Darkness. So if you have three full shards, which is what you should have at all times is plus 20 attack points uh, when you use up three shards for 20 seconds. And as you can see, I have no shards now. I need to upgrade this, so keep in mind that there is another upgrade for what I'm about to show you that I don't actually have yet that I'll be picking up relatively soon. Where is it? Where is my dark trade? Uh, there's Dark Trade. So Dark Trade 3 is what you'd want. It creates 30 Fragments of Darkness for 10% of your HP, which is fine. You can just heal immediately after you use it. And if you combine that with... Um, I gotta find my left bumper. Where's Shards of Darkness? If you combine that with Shards of Darkness... Wherever Shards of Darkness is. Shards of Darkness here. Shards of Darkness uses up 3 shards, which 3 shards is 30 that dark trade is talking about the 30 fragments create three shards so you use your your dark trade and it, you can see right under my health bar let me point the correct way over let me lower my hand over there up in the corner right below my health bar you can see the 30 and that percentage meter that's filling the 30 is indicating how many f uh, sh fragments of darkness you have and so you can do that use left bumper to increase your attack this cooldown cools down before it cools down just before if you if you use it come out of here click left bumper by the time your um by the time your uh the, the, the shards of darkness wears off your dark trade should be ready to go again um to go along with this attack right here the shadow eruption attack i also have bloody calamity which is a similar aoe attack uh, that deals significant damage. It's the biggest damage dealer that I have that I personally use. Um, it has a hefty cooldown, but it is the attack that I choose to use the most. Uh, it can hit 632% um, times a 5. Um, and then after using Night Crow, it, it cools down just it's a little bit lower. Uh, but its critical hit rate is plus 100%, and it increases, it recovers health on a good hit. And then it inflicts bleeding damage. So it's a really good attack that I that I really love. Sometimes I don't remember to use it as much as I should, but it is one of my favorite yeah. attacks. The next attack that I have hotkeyed is Shard Explosion. And it's a forward AoE attack. So um, what I like to do is if I... So if I'm fighting an enemy and it's right in front of me here, and I dash back to create distance, I'll use this attack... It'll do its, its it'll do its damage in front, and then I can close the gap again and start hitting with Rushing Crow. That's a combo that uh, I, I, I like. I need to work on it more, but it is a combo that uh, it's a nice combo. Um, that's pretty much it for the skills and everything, guys. Um, not too much to this. I'm trying to develop strategies as we go, but there's not a whole lot to my strategy right now. Um, just pretty much trying to get some combos down. That's probably the, my favorite combo that I've worked out. Most of the combos I've done, I've just kind of figured out on my own. But the dashing back here, popping this, and then dashing in with, uh, with uh, Rushing Crow. I forgot. The final attack that I use is this. It's called Signs of Agony, and it's a, it's a damage over time attack. We'll go over that in just a second, but it's down in X. And Signs of Agony uh, is great when you back off as well. So I'll show you another combo once we get out of Signs of Agony. This is one I want to kind of get down a little bit more. But Signs of Agony here, um, it is a pain damage of 30 is inflicted every 3 seconds for 27 seconds, 3% of max HP, uh, an extra damage. And it can target up to 7 people, which is really nice. Um, so one thing you can do here is if you dodge back away from an enemy... I don't want to fall off the cliff. Um, and then you use Shards of Explosion. 
Okay, I guess it's not going to do the animation. Use a couple of those in between there, and then you use your Rushing Crow in. You can be doing damage both from uh, the the signs of agony as well as being up in their face hitting them. Um, and you're away, so while you're casting signs of agony, you're not taking hits to cast it. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys, for the breakdown of the skills for the Sorceress and all of that different stuff, all my gear, and the breakdown of how I've kind of developed a play style for Sorceress. Um, let me know if you guys have any suggestions, any way, any how, regarding the video, regarding how I play a Sorceress, anything like that. Anything is much appreciated, and I will catch you all in my next uh, video. Peace out.